So let's have a little look. Without any ado, I am ready to rock and roll and to invite our very first speaker up. So let me get, I see her there. She's got her pigtails on, the whole works. She's ready to rock and roll. And that, and the beautiful Linda. Um, the amazing Linda is someone that, you know what, we get to love and she just leads with such heart. She is a wife, a mom, a speaker, a coach. Um, she loves this profession as much as I do. She really does. And um, she's a PMD plus in our, in our business. She is the top leader right across Australia and New Zealand. She has so much impact across the world. She's won Franchisee of the Year. She's won the Glennie Award, an Elton Award winner and a values champion. And she has led in our beautiful business now for, oh my gosh, I think it's over 13 years. So I'm so excited to not only invite um, one of our awesome leaders, but a dear friend of mine, Linda Evenden. So Linda, I'm going to find you and spotlight Hello. you. There you are. I can see you. Oh, yes. Awesome. <laughs> you, look, you look amazing, darling. My, pig my epic pigtails keep fading in and out. So we'll, we'll see how long they last. I even found oh. a hot pink <laughs> retro 13 years ago USA conference top. <laughs> look at you. <laughs> you look fantastic. All right, I am going to hand over to you and mute me. Hi, and good morning, everyone. I am very excited to be here. This topic is close to my heart because maybe like many of you, I had very limiting beliefs. And let's just dive straight in and start exploring those right now. When I say... Um, you're going to be in sales or you've got to sell, what feeling does that bring up for you just right now? And I love interaction. I'm going to, I want, I want the chat going the whole time. I'm reading every single one of them. Crap, resistance, retail, nervous, doubt, fear, pressure, pushy, icky, awkward, uncomfortable, scared, dread, anxiety. Okay. Tell me um, on a scale of one to 10, and I really, my outcome and my wish for you is that you solve this today because you're going to get incredible presenters here today who are going to give you so many great tools and tips, but you're the one, would you agree, that must, must apply them. You're the one, it's up to you. So who's willing to really change their story and how they feel, the physical response that you get when you say, this is the profession I'm in, this is what I do. I want you to write down where you're at right now. Just gut feel. I love to measure things. Like what you measure, you can always improve. Okay, that's what changes. So let's measure where you're at right now. Just gut feel. Are you a zero, a two, a three? Just your gut feel on overall sales and your competence and skills and confidence in this area. There's some good solid six, sevens, eights, fives, fours, three, two, ones. Yep. Where would you like to be? Where would you like to be? 11, I love it. 10, 10, 10, 10. And let me ask you this. If you were a solid 10 or even an eight or a nine, if you're, if you're at a two and you were to move to a seven, would that radically change your results and how you show up each day, right? Awesome. Okay, so I want you to take radical notes today because when you take notes what is noted changes what you are writing changes it changes in your physiology it changes in your brain you're already rewiring when you're writing something you're saying this is important so you're already working on changing it okay now i want to ask you this when there's this kind of the seven deadly things that people hate about sales that people say worldwide all the time I don't want to be. So I want you to write down in the chat again, and I'm going to read some of them out, and you'll, you watch how many are exactly the same because there's beliefs and a group consciousness about this. Maybe you've had some past references of this. Who's had really great sales um, experiences that you've made a big major purchase and it was just amazing, you loved it, right? You never felt 
compromised or convinced or a great experience, okay? And you always remember it. Don't you remember those people? And it just felt easy. You never felt sold to, okay? So I want you, I want you to write really quickly, what was it? Just observe it because everything is um, a success formula. It's like a cake. Something was happening. It's one of your buying procedures, okay? We don't have time to get into your um, buying process or, or personalities in a big way today, but I just want you to think about what feels really good. What did they do? Okay. And now I want you to think about the opposite again. Let's see how when we focus on that, it actually feels good. Didn't that feel relaxing for a bit? It's like, oh, yeah, that was really good. And you get that. To, it's a difference in your body. Now let's go back to yeah, sales is icky. Sales is all of this, okay? There was no BS. They asked questions. They cared. They showed me. They cared, right? There's a lot of common things in here. Keep engaged in the, in the chat box, guys, because you're going to be learning from each other as much as the presenters. They gave me space. They listened to what I wanted. Um, they were genuine. They answered all the questions. They were helpful and listened. They were um, genuine, made it about me, felt my needs were heard. They were honest. Let me decide. Big capital letters. How cool is that? Okay, so great hints here. Great coaching over here. You guys already know the answers, by the way. You're already spectacular coaches and salespeople. You just haven't yet embraced this identity. Okay, so now I want you to write out, blow up the chat again. Um, when I feel um, this, these are the things I resist about sales. I don't want to be what? Put it in there. I don't want to be, this is why I don't like sales. I don't want to be pushy, robotic, annoying to my friends, convincing, pushy, annoying, that girl, forceful, which is a huge one, aggressive, about the sale, unable to answer their questions, punishing people, um, pushy, aggressive. See how some past experiences, some people are going to have some big references on this and if they bring it to everything to do with sales right now, okay? So um, unable to answer the questions, judged, money grabbing. So let me ask you this. When you feel that, who are you focused on? I don't want to be pushy. I don't, um, what, you know, what will they say about me? I don't want to be judged. I don't want to be the one um, that people talk about. I don't want to look silly. I don't want to be chasing and convincing. I don't want to be rejected. I don't want to be. Who are we focused on? Everyone. I want you to write it in. Every single person. I really, really want you to get this. If you get this today, you can create a whole new identity for this. Whole new identity. Me, 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 me. I want the penny to drop. When you were describing the good sales experience, what were they focused on? You, the client, the potential client. And every poor experience that you've had, what were they focused on? Me, 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 my promotion, my next, you know, 5-1, my end of month, my hustle, my urgency, my outcome. Now, some of you have got really pure and great outcomes for people. Do you want this to change lives? Do you know that our product is spectacular and changes lives every single day? Absolutely. So I want to be really, really clear and I want you to write this down. When you know that you have something to offer and you know that it's one of the very best in the world, and Jay Abraham says this, you have a moral obligation, a responsibility to make sure that everyone you care about at least knows about it. 
That's your moral obligation. You know that it's better than the rest. I want you to write this in capitals. Sales is service. Sales is all about them every single step of the way. And it's as simple as this. The minute that you are reaching out, you are a go-giver, not a go-getter. You are a go-giver. Sales is service. Who can I serve today? What problems can I solve today? Who needs what we have? Who's searching high and low for what we offer? Sales is service. You know you all care. You know that you know how to take care of people. We're going to teach you all the cool skills and training today. It's questions are the answers. Active listening makes you of service. So the one thing you all put in common about that great sales experience, that purchase, no matter what the value, $5 or 500000 if it was a good process, you loved it because it made you feel a certain way. So my question to you is how do you all want to feel? How do you all want to make people feel? Write all those things down now. That is going to be your service mentality. You are of service. Every day you wake up, you are of service. You are saluting. I am of service. I have a number one on your forehead, so I do not slip below the line and make this about me. And you must be in this state. See these beautiful things here? Loved and cared for, fulfilled, empowered, happy, excited about their life, enthusiastic for how you can help and what can change for them. Are these emotions that you can conjure up in a second, anytime? This is exactly the alchemy that you need to be in intentionally when you go to be of service, okay? Everyone with me? I'm scooting through this fast because I want to cover three things really quickly, okay? And I've got half an hour. So you guys are amazing. You're keeping up, right? This is landing. Excellent. Next part, who's been intrigued about my fun little iceberg here? Who's got their workbook printed out? Okay, I've got an iceberg. I knew it wasn't probably going to work on my camera. Um, I love this because what I see happen is when someone is brand new and they come in and they just go, oh, wow, I'm going to rock at this. This is going to be amazing. I love Juice Plus. Everyone else needs Juice Plus and they're going to love it too. So if I ask most of my friends and family and I do, you know, 10 reach outs, I'm pretty sure that 10 are going to buy it. This is my experience that new people, maybe they think, oh, you know what, at least half will, at least six or seven will. What's your experience? Who knows some of the numbers here? And I love numbers because numbers don't lie. Numbers are the facts. Numbers are the rules of the game. Numbers are a, a yardstick, a guideline. It's just how it is. One, one out of seven, one out of, now isn't this great? Yep, Nathan's had this experience. So we want to help set up the rules of the game for our current team and our future team to let them know not everyone is looking for fruit and veggies in a capsule and an independent global partnership with the Juice Plus company. Believe it or not, not everyone is looking for that right now. Not everyone even knows that it exists, okay? Shocks you every time, right, Sophie? I get it. So I wanted to give a little bit of education to help empower you to know how and why that is and where your best opportunity is. Now, on my um, little uh, iceberg here, I want you to write these numbers, okay? These are the percentages. doesn't matter what industry, what profession, and what service or product. These are the numbers, always. The first one is buy now. Like, I am looking for a simple way to boost my diet, vitality, and energy right now. I've got my credit card. Just give me the stuff. It's 3%. I want you to write three. 3%. 3% already right now. Open to buying. You know, that sounds pretty good. You know what? I do need to take a bit better care of myself. You know, I do have some mum guilt around this or whatever. It's 7%. So above the iceberg is only 10%, my friends. Everyone's fishing for the same 10%. 
Everyone is fishing for the same 10%. Who can have an aha about this at the moment? So guess what? Now we go underwater. Now we go under the iceberg. Education is what moves them above. It's education that brings them up into the I'm ready buying zone. Who's had someone come to them? One year, two years, three years, four years, five years. However long you've been in here, three months, six months, 12 months later, because they were watching. They're in a different season, a different reason, a different desire, a different leverage. Their life circumstances have moved along. So at any one time, we are always in this giant pipeline and iceberg. We are always educating and informing. Our job is to be of service, educate, inform, inspire, and always be top of the mind of, oh, yeah, you're that, you're that girl. Not the pushy salesperson who only cares about herself, the of service person who loves, who is so passionate about helping people feel empowered in their health and vitality and in their bank accounts. Yeah, I want to be that girl. That's my idea. I want to be known as that. I'm the solution solver. Things, things aren't going how you want in your life. Let's chat. That's the identity that I want to be. Does this make sense of service, solving, listening, caring? I'll drip feed as long as it takes. You can join me in 10 years if you want. But eventually, I'm going to out service everyone else because what we do here doesn't really exist anywhere else and strengthen and build that belief. Make sense? Now, what's the percentage for not thinking about? What if I leave you hanging? I'm coming. See, I just get so excited and I go off and there's a blueprint person right there and I'm going to talk about this. I need the next, I need my sheet filled in. <laughs> I know Linda and her training, she's going to get distracted. I need the next sheet. Does this make sense? This is relevant because we're coming to it in this back half. Not thinking about it, 30%. Not thinking about it, 30%. So you popping up in your stories, do you want to shake? Do you want to sample? Are you a breakfast skipper? Do you get? Do you have bloating? Is your you know is your skin problematic? Are you are you lethargic? Have you ever done a spring, you know, uh, reset? Have you ever thought about creating another income? All of these, you're planting seeds every time you ask a question. Okay, you popping up like a little meerkat. You're getting, you're moving them up the iceberg. Okay, in the education part. This is called the blue zone. The red zone is everyone's trying to sell to the buying now and open to buying people, and it's crowded. It's like all the sharks, is blood in the water. It's red. The blue ocean, the blue zone, is wide open, and this is your biggest opportunity. Is this making sense? This is why education and patience and playing the long game and the long vision and being of service is the most important. Okay, guys? Now, it's 30% that think they're not interested and it's 30% that are definitely not interested. No, not ever. Okay? Like family members. Who's got a family member that after four years, they're still not on Juice Plus, right? Me too. <laughs> so you don't want to give your energy there, okay? That 30% down the bottom, ask a few great questions. Half the time I don't even present Juice Plus because I've already established there's no desire, there's no gap, there's no need, there's no want. And for sure they're not going to buy something for something that they don't perceive they need. Does it make sense? So where is your big focus? It's in they think they're not interested with education, caring, okay? Does everyone get that? Education, what I want you to get from this is education moves them up. And your patience and your service and caring all about who? Me or them? All about them. What are they missing in life? What are they finding hard? You know, what sucks in their life? What's it like to be them? What's most important to them? Adam's going to go into, you know, the great questions. You're going to get plenty of those today. Now, in these last few minutes that we have together, I, I, this was ambitious to bring this in, but I love this. And it really, I just love tools that help me. I came across this five years ago and I would use it almost on the daily, both in coaching and in discovering people's wants and needs and their, 
their overall personality types. Would you agree we deal with a lot of different personality types? And understanding a very, very basic formula to understand the most important things to certain personality types is almost like unlocking a code for that person. What's most important? WMI, it all comes back to that. What's most important? So would you agree, um, you know, Facebook, when I go and scroll on someone's Facebook, I can get a real highlight list of what's most important to them based on their profile. Where are they? How are they spending their time? Who are they surrounded by? What are they posting about? Right? Are they shy and a watcher or are they, you know, more of an action taker um, leader? You can tell so much by someone, even by how they dress. So I want you to start tapping into your emotional cues, the nonverbal cues as well about who is this person. I speak loud and fast. Has anyone noticed? <laughs> but when I'm with someone who is more of a blueprint person, I have to meet them where they're at. I have to slow down. I have to come down with their tonality and I have to say, you know what, I'm, I'm excited to share. Um, there's, we, we have so much information. I'd love to know if you'd share with me what's most important for you um, to know. From what you've seen so far, you know, what do you love to know? Now, based on their answer, it's going to tell me that they're one of four categories. So I'm going to teach you the categories in like six minutes. Are you ready? Four categories. It's called bank. And we have already in your workbook there written out the B-A-N-K. Okay. Now, B stands for blueprint. Blueprint. Now, the blueprint person... Um, was, um, I can't remember their name, but they were like, what's the next one, Linda? That already, their blueprint. I need, to, I need to fill in my sheets. It has to be step by step. We can't skip. I want the order. I want the process. I want the system. I want to nail this. And this is, this is the only way that blueprint people move forward is they have to see the steps in the system, okay? These are the values. I want you to write down as many of these as you can while I'm saying them. Stability, structure, systems, planning, processes, predictability, rules, credentials, titles, tradition. Now, when I'm talking to a blueprint person, they're the person at the end of the event that goes, so. I want to understand how it works. You know, they, they come up and they're almost like, yeah, this is all great. That's all nice, lady. But where's, where's the plan? Right? <laughs> they want to know the whole thing first. They're going to ask you, I need to see the um, marketing plan. And they're going to study it. They're going to welcome it, right? That's the blueprint. Now, the next one, A, action. Here's, here's the key buttons for them. Freedom, flexibility, action, opportunity, excitement, attention, stimulation, competition, winning. These two are very important. Fun and image, the lifestyle the cars, the bags, the beach life, the travel anywhere, anytime, image, okay? The next one is nurturing, the nurturer. Here's the values. Are you guys already thinking about which one you are or team? Yeah? Nurturing values, relationships, authenticity, personal growth significance, teamwork, involvement, community, charity, ethics, contribution, the nurturers. And then finally, knowledge. K stands for knowledge, learning, intelligence, logic, technology, research and development, science expertise, competence, accuracy, the big picture. 
<sighs> okay, let's bring it home. How, how do we use all of this? These are the things, these are the hot buttons for these people. So I'm going to give you um, just a classic example. Which one would you think that I am based on what you've seen from me and how I play out, right? Yes. I, I have a decent amount of nurture. I'm high action and it definitely needs to come to nurture. By the way, you can look all of this up. It's called bank. Um, it's like color coding. If you type in um, bank network marketing, um, you can take the free test. They'll try and sell you a bunch of things, which is amazing. I really love this, um, but there's a lot of stuff free already on YouTube. So if I'm high action and I, now I, I'm not going to watch the video. I'm not going to read the inst instruction manual. In fact, when I was seven months pregnant, I put the cot back to, I put the cot together back to front three times because there was no way I was reading the instructions. Action is just show me what to do. Like, let's just get stuck in and do it. Now, imagine if you've got a blueprint person who's like, you have to watch the video. I've sent you the link. Did you watch the link yet? And the actions person like, I'm not watching the link. I'm out of here. Like you told me, money, freedom, flexibility, like where's the stuff? Tell me what to do. I've got no time for, for the systems, right? And you're already annoyed. Does this make sense? <laughs> or you've got a high action person and then you've got a brand new blueprint and they're just driving you nuts with all the questions. Oh, my God, they're never going to do anything because they're not like me. Okay? The nurturer, what if I'm talking through the bonus plan of, right, let's get this promotion. You're only three people off and then you're going to get 300 bucks and that, that opens up another percentage forever. That's a permanent pay rise for you. I want you to be 20 club. How their language is, who can we help three more people? Who do you care about? Who is struggling maybe in their life? Who you see that they would love this community? That they would love what we're up to? They would love Nutrition Plus? That they would, how can we make impact and influence in their life? You know, let's, let's, let's create a little campaign in your team now um, to give back to Nutrition Plus and start posting around that. Let's do a gratitude challenge. Let's show off this community. Does this make sense? Completely different language. Yeah? Now, um, knowledge. When you can say things like, so let's just say, what's my time? Uh, do I have a few more minutes, Celine? I'm just trying to work it out. I think we do. Yeah, go on. Go for a couple more. At 12 months, yeah. Um, so just imagine this. This is my favourite question when, you know, someone's given the link, but I already go and investigate and do as much homework as I can for what's most important to them. WMI. I want you to write that big somewhere. And I write, want you also to write WAIT. What's most important? And WAIT stands for Why Am I Talking? We don't talk, we ask and we actively listen like a brilliant detective, okay? The more talking you do, the less you are learning. Then it's all about you when you're talking, okay? You have to just shh, listen, open your heart, put a number one on their forehead. You, you really have to cultivate this, okay? I'll ask them, um, so from what you've seen so far, what stood out most to you? Listening ears on, big giant listening ears. What profile are they hinting at here? I like how the things were laid out and simple. Right, blueprint. Um, I love hearing how easy it is to take. Right, action. I loved her story about how she was able to lean into the community. You know, I loved her genuine, you know, oh, they seem real. These people seem so real. Um, Kay, I liked hearing the benefits and I really liked the research. Um, where do I find more about the research? Make sense? You're getting a feel for this? 
And so this is a huge clue because it's like a door opening button. You're stepping into their world. This is like a really, you know, it's like four doors to go through and then to understand their world because who's it all about, guys? It's all about them. It's all about them. Like the whole time, it's all about them. And so tell me more. Um, I love that um, you love hearing how it's laid out and simple. And that's what I love about, you know, this is a franchise. This is a tried and proven system that's refined, that the company, um, you know, the company has been around for 50 years, the same leadership and team at the helm. With, with philanthropists, every time I talk about the company, I'm hitting all four buttons. There's unlimited opportunity for freedom and to work on your own dreams here, right? That's talking to the action people. The nurturing is, this is the company with the heart. We are mission driven. Do you want to know what our mission is? And we live it every single day to help as many people realize their dreams. We inspire healthy living around the world. That is our mission. And we collaborate. We raise each other up. Who am I talking to? So the more that you can really consider the four main personality types and discover as quickly as possible which one they are, then the language becomes different, my friends, completely different language for the action person. If I've got an action person that I'm starting and I've got a super high action person with zero attention span, but, but like she just goes and goes and goes, I cannot hold her up with um, anything extra. I've got to delete everything and let her tell me what the next step is and make it super simple and then get out of there. Does that make sense? Like I adjust everything to them. Now she started with me years ago and I was very much, well, no, you know, you're not that important. You've got to follow the system. And she didn't last a week. <laughs> so this can be important. This can be really, really important. Okay, so there I am. I mean, I'm at time. So I hope that this was valuable. I've given you a bit of a fire hydrant of three things there. Your identity. The thing that I want you to take from the identity is all of the things that you wrote down that helped you have a really great experience and embody that. So every single time that you are going to serve, you consciously think about and bring about that emotional state of service. When we're being of service, it's all about them. When you are in your head, you are dead. When you are all about you and I don't want them to judge me, and I does this come off even in how you post? Check everything before you do it and say, am I about me or them? Am I about getting or giving here? And it's always a simple distinction, but it's so powerful. Yay. Thank yeah. you for your time, everyone. You rock. <laughs> Thank you so much, darling. That was amazing. That was absolutely fantastic. Um, and I can see the, the chat has been lit up there. So you've done a great, awesome job.